Aloha. I'm Wendy Lowe, and today we're taking your health back. You're streaming live from our studios in ThinkTech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu and from my home office in Makiki. Today, I would like you to meet a friend. Her name is Leilani Aquino. She prefers to go by Lani, a more Hawaiian, I guess. Lani resides in San Pedro, California. I met Lani via Zoom. So we met so many people um, during the last few years with Zoom, but I recently had a chance to finally meet her in person, and I was able to meet her fun-loving family at Ohana and help them to take their health back. So let's meet Lani. Aloha, Lani. Hi, Wendy. Auntie Wendy, thank you for having me here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I knew it would be kind of interesting because, you know, my talk is taking your health back, and I know your passion is massage therapy but yes. before we get into that i would like you to just tell us a little bit about your ohana and your background oh my goodness well i was born and raised in hawaii uh this photo here is taken a few years ago uh with my immediate family there uh, <clears throat> born and raised my my parents immigrated to hawaii from the philippines you know as as you know everybody you know that's the they want to have a new new start you know more opportunities so they started the family in hawaii so i'm the oldest of three and you know i have very very uh just happy memories growing up in hawaii and where did you grow up well what part of hawaii well i was born in honolulu uh first part of my childhood and then we moved to Waipahu, oh. where my family still resides mm -hmm. so yeah, so it's just fun, just fun, uh, big Filipino community, as you know, Wendy. Yeah, I mean, that's where I was. Uh, I was born in Miley, and then we relocated to Waipahu. And uh, yeah, it's a large Filipino community there. In fact, they say that's like the first Manila, yeah? Maybe yeah. in uh, Kalihi would be like the second. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I met your family there, and wow, what a neat, neat uh, neighborhood and family that you have there. So, so tell me, was somebody involved with military? Yeah, you know, uh, geez, I always had a spirit of adventure, um, curiosity. So I was still a senior in high school, Apollo High School, and I ended up en enlisting um, in the military. Oh. I was still a senior, U.S. Air Force. Um, definitely was surprised to the parents. But <laughs> just one of those, uh, you know, I was, I was uh, just adventurous and wanted to experience and explore outside from Hawaii. So that's that's what I did. I, I went to the military, um, jet engine mechanic, trained and working on fighter uh, engines. So it was a great, great experience for sure. Uh, congratulations yeah. and Thank mahalo you. for making that decision at a young age and following through with it. Kudos to you. I mean, my my daughter came home and she wanted mm -hmm. to join the Air Force. And um, I was so excited. But of course, her dad said, no, you're not going. I said, yes, you are. I even wrote to Senator Akaka and Senator mm -hmm. Inouye, a Congressman uh, Inouye. And I wanted to see how hard it would be to get a congressional appointment for my daughter. And I was so behind it, was so excited. But her daddy said, absolutely not i'm like oh so anyways i'm congratulating you for taking that step you had a desire and a passion to learn something uh discipline love of country whatever it was to drive you i just want to say mahalo for following through with it yeah, Kudos thank to you. you thank you thank you how, how long did you serve there you know i was active duty for almost five years mm -hmm. and did a, and then i did a few years of air national guard Mm -hmm. in utah and I, I finished up my career doing uh eight years in active reserve so yeah wow oh, so you have a good number of years behind you yes yes right yeah it was great like i said it was a great experience because you meet so many different people right you right. get exposed to different cultures um mm -hmm. you know just just talk about culture shock Right. So, right. Um, but it, it was good because you get different, you know, types of people um, come from all over the country. So it was a great exposure to that, too. So, yeah. 
and you know you're not even from a military family so that's even a little more a uh, little more challenging because it's not like you grew up in that you know military family environment traveling about you are the mm -hmm. first one to go and wow i'm just amazed i i just i wish somebody would have encouraged me as well because i really admire you and the people that make that decision to go so thank you so much <laughs> uh, thank you thank you yeah and so in this next photo i think it's the christmas photo so i know you want to share a little bit more about your yeah. extended family and your family there yeah you know uh this photo was from last christmas uh you know with with my nieces and nephews and my mom there um my boyfriend nemo he goes by nemo first time uh -huh. in hawaii so he wanted to you know he was really really happy you can tell by that photo uh, <laughs> you know just just being around family you yeah. know um but yeah christmas time is always special to mm -hmm. the whole family because um you know my uh my dad passed in 2019 january oh uh and so christmas eve was his birthday so it's like a, it's a, it's special you know it's special yeah. meaning um heart and it's always a good good feeling always good memories come through so it's always special always go home for christmas wow so you're you're retired out now out of the military yeah i'm, I'm yes i'm i'm done i have, you're done I, yeah, <laughs> oh, I did my, my obligation. Yeah, yes, so, you did. Yes. You served yes. and you trained and you got discipline and it only only good things come of it. So yes. again, and take all of that experience and knowledge that you got from our government and and of course the love of our country. So thank you for defending. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I know that after you got out or maybe when you were still in, you got involved with um, massage and mas being a massage therapist. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that. Oh my gosh. So uh <laughs> I didn't actually I got into massage therapy just not really like it wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna be a massage therapist. It wasn't anything wow. like that, you know, because um I was with the airlines, I was working for the airlines at the time, mm -hmm. um, years after I, I got out of the military. And you know, you get to a point, I think, you know, a lot of people can probably relate to me is when you, you know, you had a job and you like it good company, but you always have this thing that something's missing. Some mm -hmm. things like you're not really feeling fulfilled. Like mm -hmm. there's supposed to be more you're supposed to be doing, you know? Right. So <clears throat> then internet wasn't how it is now, but you know, I get on the internet, it's like, oh, maybe, you know, I can look for something that can interest me. Maybe, you know, I want to learn something, but always the, you know, those little ads that used to pop up mm -hmm. on, your, on your screen was always like massage therapy schools. I was like, huh, massage therapy schools? Like, what would I want to, you know, kept coming, kept coming. I was like, you know what? Let me click on one of these. So I was like reading about it. And I'm like, well, you know, it doesn't hurt to just, or maybe I'll go and visit a school mm -hmm. locally, you know, uh, in Torrance, uh, Torrance, California. So I went, I, I heard the whole, you know, the, the, the rep, uh, the rep, walked me through the school, told me all the awesome things that you can do with it and all this and all that. And I was like, oh, I'll sign up. I signed up for school on, on the same visit. Like, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> well, but, it was a calling. Somebody was yeah. talking at you and uh, you took the message and took it and yeah. yeah, you took action. So that's great. I did, I did. And it was like the best decision I made. Um, because, you know, when you go, when I went through the schooling and getting the information, I felt like, wow, like I get it, you know, I like, I get this information and I enjoyed it a whole lot. So it was a great experience, um, you know, learning about the art of massage therapy and what you can do. Um, it's such a huge healing, uh, tool, you know, so, um, but yeah, massage therapy, <laughs> that's how I got into it. So, wow. So, yeah. you know, when you were looking into this, well, how was your health? Where were you at with your health? You know, I was, I was, um, you know, I was always active. I was always active as a, as a child. Um, as I got older, I tried to keep that um, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> you know, kind of went sideways, you know, I think for, for a lot of us, um, busy, um, not able to uh, manage stress a whole lot, um, not or not great. And what happened with me, my, my personal story with this stress was there was a time where um, 
you know, I, I, I lost my hair, like <clears throat> I lost my hair, I had hair loss and it was um, like difficult because I was working for the airline mm -hmm. and, you know, you're like front and center. Right. So that was like traumatic to, to, to go through. And um, so, you know, that it made me, you know, started to like research what can I do besides, you know, taking prescription drugs and they did a lot of tests. Um, so what they found out was just stress, mm -hmm. stress management. It was like, mm -hmm. okay, then I got to try to figure out a way, right, to, right. to, to um, get a handle on it because I don't want it to, um, you know, take over and can stress can really you know do a lot of damage to your body you know um so yeah that, that's that's what i had to deal with um in the past and i'm doing so much better with that uh you know thank god with that um but yeah like massage therapy can definitely help with <laughs> with stress management so that was um yeah it's it's, it's a shock right because wow yeah and, yeah you know, a lot of a lot of women go through that you know mm -hmm. um they're either going to be diagnosed with something or, mm -hmm. you know, main, the main corporate co corporate is the <clears throat> stress, is stress. And then maybe the, the, la the diet, they're lacking mm -hmm. something in their diet, but a lot of it is due to stress or combination of the both, which many, not just women, men as well experience. Right. So yes. it's good that you continue to research and that you actually found something that made you happy mm -hmm. and uh, guided you to want to take your health back. Right, because you knew you didn't want to be medicated for the rest of your life because it would only probably cause more hair loss with certain medications in your body because you didn't deal with the problem. You were just masking it with the medication that they would give you. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. you became a massage therapist in 2008. 2008, 2008. Um, <clears throat> and then even still, like, okay, I have this, so what do I do with it? You know, it was, it was so much information. And um, I sat on it for a good year, probably. And then I'm like, you know what? I got to do something with this because it keeps pulling me, keeps pulling me because I don't want to go out of your comfort zone, right? A lot of people don't pursue um, a lot of their goals and dreams because they get uncomfortable. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I put myself in very uncomfortable situation, <laughs> left a stable job to, to pursue this um you know this this type of work so what i did was i got to work at a spa mm -hmm. um and at the same time i got work at chiropractor office because i wanted to learn like the, the different environments you mm -hmm. know <clears throat> spa uh, medical massage and then on my off time i would uh i say like, oh i'm gonna like just build my clientele so i would pack up my table and i'll go to people's houses wow, and, and, and do that <laughs> so I did that. So it was like on like good well, two years. I did that wow. two years until I came to a point like, okay, I can work. I can like leave the jobs and like, you know, just do my own thing. I just work for myself. So that's pretty much, um, you know, how I got into working for myself since 2011, 2011. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you so. really hustled then. I mean, you learned the, the, your craft, your specialty. You got good at it. You continue to train in different offices. So you understood what is needed to run a successful business as well, mm -hmm. as well as what are the needs of your clients and your potential clients. So that's, that's really amazing that you did all that research and, and then you built a business that way. So I also know that you're really big on self-care. What is self-care? You know, uh, self-care, I'm a huge advocate for for quite a few years now. Self-care is, you know, a practice of taking action to preserve uh, or improve one's health. And, the, you know, and that on, in that definition, like the main word is take action. You gotta take action, right? Um, we all can think it or we can say, oh yeah, I wanna like do this or I wanna do that. But if you don't actually do it, how can it improve your 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 self care? So self care, um, you know, it's so important, especially like the last couple of years. We all went through a lot um, with the COVID, and I think the um, the social distancing that really made a huge impact um, on a lot of us. 
Um, and I think especially the kids too, yeah, the socializing, because they like to be social, right? So, um, but yeah, self-care, um, my thing is, we need to take care of ourselves so we can give more of ourselves. We have to prepare ourselves to, to give our 100% like all the time. You know, um, my own personal um, health slash life pillar is um, build a strong spiritual foundation. Um, take care of your health. That, that means your nutrition. You got to add movement slash exercise. You got to move your body. We're made to move, right? Um, you have to definitely have positive, nurturing relationships. Who do you surround yourself with? Who are you around? You know, giving you some good energy. You know, and you know, and and you gotta and find your purpose. Like, what is your purpose? Um, and that's ongoing work for all of us, I think, because it can change. You have, your purpose can change, right, as you mm -hmm. live life. Right. So, um, I think, um, yeah, self development is 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 big. So you try to get all those going at the same time. Okay, so I guess I'm I I got an A plus on my self care. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> because yeah, I mean right, I look at what I eat nutritionally. Yeah. I watch. I made a change in my lifestyle about twenty years ago. Uh, eating more plant strong. Uh, I'm very active, or as I could be more active, but I surf as much as I can. Um, I walk as much as I can, and um, I sure have a busy lifestyle. So um, I got big pillars. <laughs> I got yes. I got big pillars of health in my life, and you know I and that's why I wanted you to come by on so you could inspire others as well because we have to take our health back, right? And like you're yes. doing, you learned you're on it, you're understanding what you need to do, and the best thing about the key point what you said is you need to take action. You can't just learn about it and yeah. just hope that it'll just happen, but you've got mm -hmm. to take action. And so I, you can't stress that more, uh, Lani. And I'm glad you brought that up because taking action is, that's the half the battle right there, right? Right, right. right yeah. You're right. Just take action. Uh, you know, and then, you know, always have good influences around you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get the right information too. There's just so much to, to read, right? Social media, online. Um, but yeah, make sure you get the right information and then mm -hmm. just pursue it. You know, if it's that important to you, you're gonna you're gonna do something about it, right? Right. Because we get limited time. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly that, because um, like you and I, we just met on a Zoom call, and we kind of like resonated with the same um, direction and same goals. So we continue to uh, build a relationship and make friends and understand that our goals are pretty much the same. And so that's why I thought you better come on to this show and talk about the the benefits of self care and taking your health back. So. How does massage therapy play a part in self-care? You know, massage therapy, uh, it's been practiced for thousands of years, documented, right? East-West cultures. And it's like the first tool that they use for uh, pain relief. You know, it's documented. Mm -hmm. So it's, <clears throat> you know, what massage therapy is, is you're manipulating uh, soft tissue, which is like your muscles, your tendons, and which encourage like, circulation, oxygen, blood flow to the muscles, right? It helps lower your blood pressure, right? That's the physical benefits. Um, it also improves like your joint mobility, which is great for anyone suffering from arthritis. That's like key movement because everyone's like, you find if it's painful, nobody wants to move, right? right. So you need to move because the nutrients are in your blood. So you got to keep moving, you know? And and it's a great way to like recover if you're, you know, playing sports, uh, sitting down too long, standing too long. So you want to, um, you know, encourage some blood flow in the tense muscles. So, but yeah. And then also there's also mental benefits. You know, it, massage therapy is great to help, you know, relieve symptoms of depression and anxiety, you know, increase the serotonin and the dopamine, the feel good hormones, you know. Um, it definitely um, helps, as I've mentioned before, it lowers your stress. You know, it, it can help reduce the cortisol, which is the stress hormone, um, <clears throat> for about at least 30%. You know, a lot of clinical research um, uh, is on massage therapy helping with, with stress reduction. 
you know, and you know, and and also, you know, with the with COVID, um, <clears throat> a lot of people, and this is a thing that people I don't think realize. It's it's called touch uh, deprivation, touch starvation. You know, meaning you don't have people don't have enough human touch, skin to skin contact, and that's just like a hug, a handshake, right? A pat on the back. That's like um, I don't think people know how important it is to to have um, that type of human connection because it does uh, plays a big role in everyone's development. Um, you know, as we we're born into this world, that's the first thing you crave for is skin to skin contact. You know, so <clears throat> so it does uh, help with children, their development physically, emotionally. Um, and you know, and mentally, for you know, they they've done like so many different studies, uh, you know, in in other countries on an orphan, um, an orphanage, and they actually kept track of, you know, the children. They have no human contact, right? They just kind of kept in the in a place and and compared them to children who would have daily contact um, with parents or you know other individuals, um, adults, and and just the their growth, um, learning abilities was such a big gap, and wow. and that they've done so many different research on that. So, um, but yeah, and it's just how we communicate as humans, if you right. think about it, you know. Right. So, so yes. yeah, humans are such social animals. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in different stages of our lives, you can just see it's so obvious. So I know that the last two years um, has done a lot of havoc in a lot of people's lives and mostly are cakey um, because they were not able to socialize and they didn't understand. So they were confused. They weren't loved. They weren't, I mean, not loved. They weren't touched. They weren't hugged. They needed, we do too, we, but we have a little bit of understanding what was going on. So not that we accepted it, but it is not as um, confusing for us adults as it is or was for those kids. So there's going to be a need for a lot of damage control that yeah. just occurred in the last couple of years. And, you know, a um, long time ago, we used to think massage, oh, I'm going to have a massage. So it was like only mm -hmm. for the rich people or is mm -hmm. a luxury item because, oh, yes, I need a facial, I need a massage. But actually, when you want to look at it, it's the health benefits that we should look at it and not just a, 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 a gem of luxury. But everyone should be massaged, have massage and enjoy it and because your body is crying out and just feeling so good because of the touch because of the opening of the circulation the stimulation of all your glands and your muscles and your fascia so it's just what our body needs besides good health and nutrition right 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 uh, you know like you you sort of you, you you hit it right on the head thank you wendy mm -hmm. you know it's that's why it's so important to have a self-care program um if you don't have one you can start one with massage and if you already have one, why don't you upgrade it with massage, you know, right. and good nutrition? Um, right. That's so important because it's what you put in your body is what's going to come out. I mean, right. that's you, what's going to, you know, you yeah. use. <laughs> well, yeah, get it, boom, boom. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but yeah, you are what you eat, right? Yes, yes. So yeah, the better you eat, the better quality of food you eat. I mean, that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to take the time to have a massage and stimulate all your in in internal organs and and uh, circulation systems etc you better be putting the right food in your body so it just goes hand in hand right right right, um, right. so it seems like you found your purpose um in life and i'm so excited that you did find it at an early age that you could um, build on it learn and, and continue to take action to guide people to take action because it's so key of what you're doing and um maybe when you you know when you think about it you should really approach families like when you massage parents that um maybe if they have kids that they should bring the kids in and you have you should have like a cakey special because yeah. those kids if you want to think about it those kids need it more than ever now and if the parents and, and you know parents love their kids um how we can uh, get them caught up bring them mm -hmm. in for a massage stimulate their you know where their bodies where it should be you know and, and help them to get back on track so maybe you should in, encourage this program into your into your system and your program i'll take 10 percent <laughs> <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> so I know that you know you're on a personal mission to help many communities to live a healthier lifestyle. So what are you doing while you're out there when you go out to the field? You know what I do? Um, I, I, I do, you know, represent like having a, a self-care program. Um, but, you know, what I do is I love to connect and expand my business and network with like-minded health and wellness professionals who, you know, our values line up, you know, and, um, and I've been starting to do that. And I've been meeting some really great, great people, uh, great professionals who are really good at what they do, you know. And the thing is like customer care, like that's so important to me, customer care, how they treat um, clients slash customers, um, mm -hmm. because you want to make sure that they, the clients receive what they need from us. And if say they come to me and, and I don't provide what they need, but guess what? I know somebody I trust that I can send them to, you know? Um, and that's that, I've been, you know, it's been such a great uh, journey journey to to um to be on i'm still going um i i love what i do um i'm very grateful i'm able to do it and i'm going to keep going and see how far i can go and um i would love to expand um what i do um and go back home to hawaii and yes. you know and and expand <laughs> and and yeah teach is really educate people and teach and talk and just let them know because some people just don't they don't know sometimes people don't know you right. know and they just need to learn that's all well, you're good at it you're you you, you proved it to me i mean we were only zoom buddies <laughs> and i knew you were coming to hawaii and uh you invited me to your home your family home in waipahu and there were like 14 or 16 of your family members and um you were so excited about getting the message out about health and nutrition. And so you invited them, you invited me, and we all finally met in person. Um, technology is so great, but I was able to share your, your heart and your message with your family. And you know what? You started them on their health journey. We together woke them up. We told them about all the fruits and vegetables and all the complete smoothies that they need to be drinking, growing their own plants. And they were very excited. And I know that they were very grateful for you to take that time to invest in them. So congratulations again to you for that and sharing that opportunity of eating whole food nutrition in capsules and chewables and with the juice plus that you were sharing with them. So, and anytime you need uh, a sister uh, in the same message, just call on me, Lani, okay? Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, Auntie Winnie, uh, for your time, for your oh, time. You're for, welcome, you know, you're welcome. Yeah, it so was a joy. So we're on the same mess, uh, mission, girl, you know, um, getting our health back. But right now we've run out of time for today. So I wanted to say mahalo to Lani Aquino to, uh, for educating all of us on self-care and how essential it is to taking your health back. We'll be back in two weeks on taking your health back with Wendy. Aloha, Lani, and say hi to your buddies in San Pedro, California. Aloha. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.